Welcome to the session of Sheep Heart. Before we start our dissection, we need to observe our safety protocols. So I have my PPEs done. I have my gloves, I have my apron, I have my goggle. Then we need to have our items. So I have my dissection tree, I have my dissection kit, and of course, I have my specimen, which is the Colonial Perfect Solution Sheep Heart. So now I'll place my Space man onto the dissection tree, and I'm doing so anteriorly as I'm facing a patient. All right, so if I'm facing a patient, then this becomes the right side of the, the heart, and this becomes the left side of the heart. So when you take the heart, we have the left oracle, and then we have the right oracle too. The oracles are here like frap which is made up of muscle from the heart. Okay, then we have the apex of the heart here. So the apex of the heart is made up of the muscle from the left ventricle. Okay, so you can also observe the base. When you're observing across this way, the base of the heart. The base of the heart is made up of attachment of blood vessels enters, that enters and exits the heart. We can see these circles here. This circus here is the anterior interventricular circus and it separates the right ventricle from the left ventricle. Then we can also observe this white tissue. The white tissues here is the adipose tissues or fat and it serves as the insulator of the heart and prevent the external stretches. Now we can turn it posteriorly. And if we turn it posteriorly, remember that the left has now become the right and the right has become left. So we have the left side here, we have the right side here. So we can also observe this circus. And this is a posterior interventricular circus. And that separates the left side of the ventricle from the right ventricle. Then we can also observe this coronary circus here. Okay. Then from here, we can observe the aorta. This is the aorta here. And then the pulmonary trunk is also here. Then we have this um, blanco safari trunk, which is actually a branch of the aorta, which split into two to form the subcranial artery and then common carotid artery. Okay. Now, when we come to the right side of the ventricle, we have this attachment here, this trunk here, and that the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava bring a blood into the right atrium. Okay, so now we can turn it anteriorly and observe the internal structures. But before you do that, you need to pass it the heart. So you pass it through it, through the apex to the base. But already this is done to save us time. Okay, so now let's observe the internal structures. So once you have the heart internally, we have the four chambers. You have the right atrium right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, okay. So between the right atrium and then right ventricle, we have this valves here, that's the tricuspid valve, okay. And the tricuspid valve um, allow blood to flow from the atrium to the ventricle leading the atrial contraction and also prevent the backflow of the blood during the ventricular contraction. In the same way, we have this um, trabecular canal here. Yeah, so we have the trabecular canal. Then we have the walls of the ventricle, the right ventricle. The walls of the right ventricle, we have the external one, which is the epicardium, the thin layer there. Then we have this one, which is the myocardium. Yeah, okay. Then inside, we have another one, which is endocardium. You can't observe it well from here, but you can see it from here. This thinner one, it's an endocardium. Then we have this septum. This is the interventricular septum, which separates the right ventricle from the left ventricle, and it's made up of the myocardium. So we can see myocardium here. Of course, this is the apex of the heart here, okay, which is made of the muscle of the right, uh, the left ventricle. Now, when we come to the right, the left side, we have this valve here. And this is the 
left atrium ventricular valve is called mentral valve or uh, bascopic valve. The bascopic valve is also attached with the, the strings, and the strings are the coda tendina. Okay, which is also attached to the muscles here, and this is the popular muscle. So we have the popular muscles here. Going here up to the aorta is the aortic valve or semilunar valve. Okay, so it leads into the aorta. So we can see it from here, the aorta from here. All right. Okay, so blood flow from the atrium to the ventricle goes up there and so so enter into the pulmonary trunk here. All right, so you can see from here. All right. So it comes out there to the pulmonary arteries, the two left and right pulmonary arteries into the lungs and back through the pulmonary veins to the, the heart again, right? Okay, the same way we have this side, the left ventricle walls, we have the epicardium, we have the myocardium, we have also the endocardium, okay? So basically, these are some of the structures we have with the heart, especially the sheep heart that we use. Thank you.